60,000. So in the place of 60,000, it is now only 45,000. Similarly, an individual with an income of 15 lakh rupees would be required to pay only 1.5 lakh or 10% of his income or her income, a reduction of 20% from the existing liability of 1 lakh 87,500 rupees. My third proposal is for the salaried class and the pensioners, including family pensioners, for whom I propose to extend the benefit of standard deduction to the new tax regime. Each salaried person with an income of 15.5 lakh rupees or more will thus stand to benefit by 52,500 rupees. My fourth announcement in personal income tax is regarding the highest tax rate which in our country is 42.74%. This is among the highest in the world. I propose to reduce the highest surcharge. I propose to reduce the highest surcharge rate from 37% to 25% in the new tax regime. This would result this would result in reduction of the maximum rate. This would result in the reduction of the maximum tax rate to 39%. Lastly, the limit of 3 lakh rupees for tax exemption on leave and cashment on retirement of non-government salaried employees was last fixed in the year 2002 when the highest basic pay in the government was only 30,000 rupees per month. In line with the increase in the government salaries, I am proposing to increase this limit to 25 lakh rupees. We are also making, we are also making the new income tax regime as the default tax regime. However, citizens will continue to have the option to avail the benefit of the old tax regime. Apart from these, I am also making some other changes as given in the annexure. As a result of these proposals, revenue of about 38,000 crore to 37,000 crore in direct taxes and rupees 1,000 crore in indirect taxes will be foregone while revenue of about 3,000 crore will be additionally mobilized. Thus, the total revenue foregone is about 35,000 crores annually. Honorable Speaker, sir, with these words, I commend the budget to this August House. One hour, 25 minutes.